Recap! Hey, my voice is fixed. What? Last video was so awesome, it went something like this. Alright, it's time to turn in that odd potion to that creepy guy in the forest. Ah, Satan! We got a poacher saw! Hey, that's my saw! Give me back my saw! We sort of got a sword? Not really, because it's broken. Yay, upgrade! Yay, naked! Oh my god, my eyes hurt! Volcanic eruption! We got a prescription for drugs! Not really, just eye drops! Eh, that wasn't really that awesome, now that I think about it. But hey, my voice works, that's cool. Okay, let's make sure I can fall in the right place. There we go. Whee! Okay, right over here, near where we entered, where we blew up the Dongo's Cavern. Uh, right behind this rock. There we go, and then it has to be nighttime, so we'll make it nighttime right quick. And... Hello! Why you say goodbye? I say hello. That's for sure. All right, and that's pretty much all the side quest type stuff we can do now. So now we need to head towards. Well, first of all, before my subscribers kill me, let me put on the tunic there. All right. So now we're gonna head back to the Lost Woods so we can use a shortcut to get to Zora's domain. The shortcut that's in the forest. I might have to speed this up for time, because I really want to get to the next location. Okay, we're gonna leave Lost Woods and go back into the Lost Woods. And then we're gonna go to where Zora's Domain is, our little shortcut, which is located right over here. I don't really know if this is a quicker way of getting there. I think it's somewhat quick. Hey, Mido, what's up? I think this is somewhat quicker, but I don't know. I can't really make any promises. Oh, wow, it got all dark and eerie. Like the eagle. There we go. Here's our shortcut. You'll notice if you haven't beaten a dungeon or anything yet, you'll notice the area is kind of like dark and spooky. Like Ganondorf's evil forces are taking over. Alright, we're in front of Zora's Domain, and I just realized, now that I'm doing this second recording, that there's actually a gold scatula on that wall over there. I didn't even know about that, looking up the guides and stuff. Um, <laughs> I just randomly noticed that, so we're gonna go get that while we're here. Good thing I saw that. I would have hated to have to come back here later and get that. So there's one on that wall up there. I think I think if we stand, yeah, we gotta stand on. Oh crap! All right now, let's carefully get on top. Ugh, look, climb it, buddy. Climb on top of it. There. Now use the hook shot. There we go. Good boy. You deserve a treat. And how many is that? That's 38. Two more and we can get another upgrade. So now let's go up here and now let's head into Zora's domain. Uh they're so welcoming and inviting. Well, hey there, Zoras. It's been a while. Oh my god, what the... Everything's frozen. Holy crap, you know what this means, right? It means we can go ice skating, yay! Okay, anyway. Now, if you come here at night, you'll notice up there at the top of the waterfall is another gold scatula. So we're all rah, 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 rah. we're also gonna get that. So be sure to get that at nighttime, because if you come in here in the day, it won't be there. So now let's run to the top. Oh my God, King Zora! 
Jeez. Well, at least he's moved out of our way now. We don't have to wait 20 years for him to move like last time. All right, at the end of the tunnel, there's not a light, but there is a gold scatula right there, which is a little bit better than a light. Okay. There we go. That's 39. One more for an upgrade. He can upgrade you. Now, what in the heck is going on here? Why is everything frozen? Why is fat so frozen? Well, this place isn't frozen. Let's find out. Zora's Fountain. Let's go ahead and make it daytime. Okay. Now here in Zora... Where's Lord Jabba? He's gone. Oh, no. Well, he sucked anyway. Okay, now there's big chunks of ice that we're willing to sacrifice. Okay, now we can get one of the easiest heart pieces in the game. Of course I say that, but then I'm gonna fall or something. Okay, you just gotta jump on these chunks of ice. And then jump over to that platform. There we go! That's another heart piece. One more we can get. Another heart to our collection of mini hearts. And that row on the bottom will slowly not look as stupid and unorganized and sloppy. Because how dumb is it to have a big row of hearts and then two little hearts at the bottom row? How stupid does that look? Oh, crap. How many times am I going to fall? Jeez. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. I swear I'd have to do that crap all over again. Jump. Jump! And we jump again. We need some moon boots. Ah, the ice cavern. Uh, well, so this brings us to the ice cavern in the game. This level is actually a really interesting part of this game because it's one of the only places that's it's like a dungeon but it's not really a dungeon it actually has a dungeon map and it has a compass and all that stuff so it, it treats it like it's a dungeon the game treats this like it's a dungeon but it's not a dungeon so as far as I know it's like the only level in the game that's like that at the top of my head The other thing that's interesting about the ice cavern, at least just from what I've noticed, is that um, it seems to be like one of the most untalked about parts of this game. One of the most overshadowed and overlooked areas in the game. Uh, whenever people have a general discussion about Ocarina of Time, I never really hear anybody talk about the ice cavern. I don't think it's ever really brought up. People never mention the ice cavern randomly. In conversations, so that's an interesting fact about it. Okay, so I think this is the first room. Is this the first room in the game where we have to collect these little silver rupees? I think it might be. But up here is our 40th gold scatula, which we are slapping the wall. What? what? What's blocking the way? Is it that? There we go. And that brings us to 40, so now at some point we'll go back and get our upgrade. No, it's no time for playing songs, Link. I know they're beautiful, but we've got work to do. Alright, if you actually, like, duck with your shield, that thing will go over your head, so that's one way to dodge that. I think jumping up here and getting this one in the air is the last one. Yep, and that opens the jail cell there. Crap, I hate... That's one of the most irritating things in this part of the game, is these stupid fan things. They just always hit you. God, it's so hard to dodge them. It's like one way or another, those daggum things hit you somehow. I'd love to see somebody play through this and just not get hit once by those dumb things. These and the fans and crap. Ugh, anyway. Okay, now this room... We get a special item. Watch out for these stupid... Ugh. And these always hit you, too. I think that's what's so annoying. God dang it, man. 
I think that's what's annoying about the ice cavern is that just everything just so easily hits you here. God, that's the third time, for God's sakes. How many times is crap gonna freaking hit me here? Ugh. Look! Ugh! There. Jeez. I'm so tired of this crap. Anyway. Our goal in here is to get this blue fire. I swear to God. There. Jeez. This is worse than the fire temple in that one room where the fire hits you constantly. I know. You shut up. Yeah, blue fire. We can catch it. Go die for all I care. Alright. Well, actually, this milk will come in handy right now, so... Let's drink that. Okay, now we're gonna get a nice dose of blue fire here. We got blue fire, Charlie! 